this is a quick show round of my bay window camper van 1979 and I've had it for 10 years basically pretty much done everything on it inside and out mechanical welding whole shebang I haven't done all the welding and respray somebody else did that um, we love it uh, here's the interior these are Porsche 928 seats retrimmed to match the uh, bodywork colour Got an electric fridge sitting between the two front seats, which is most handy. Uh, and then into the back. I'll give you a quick show round. So we've got furniture, which I built about 10 years ago. So we've got a sink on the top, which is there, which is full of stuff, but that's a working sink. Standard sort of face, even a lot of buses. Three big drawers, which are Full of plates, pans, and such. For um, we've got the uh, we've got the Sarah Raven Blue Star furniture, which we reflected in the roof, as you can see, which we particularly like. Um, then I've got the original fr gas fridge over there, which we run on gas. Um, another cupboard, two two burners up here, sort of stand up fair, swivel out table that I made. Uh, incorporating two bits of plastic plumbing pipe and then you pull that over like that and then that's your table um, and it's on a stock swivel down there so the whole table can swivel out um, one of the things that we particularly like my wife came up with these storage pockets which we put where the bunk beds used to be and as you can see we've got all kinds of the little stuff to it in here so notebooks uh, wildlife book, hand sanitizer, welcome to the new world order, torches, and then on the other side, charging leads, you know, just all that frippery that um, you kind of never know where to put, and we just store in our pockets. And I've also done in the back two other pockets that sit like that, so you can put your book and your reading glasses or whatever in there. It's a full width rock and roll bed that we went for, which is beautiful and as you can see, very comfortable. And uh, done in this lovely green, which matches the exterior paint. And then up top, I fitted a 100 watt solar panel, which you can see there. And all I've done on that is just dropped a lead down through the rear vents, which then, <laughs> Connects to a charge controller there. So as you can see, we've got 14.1 volts charging away quite nicely. And I've also got that running off of a uh, solid state relay split split charger. It comes off the drive battery, which is over here. I'm running a two litre uh, pancake engine, which I rebuilt, top end rebuild about three years ago. Um, took out the original 1600 after the exhaust manifold failed and overheated number three um, cylinder and blue number three piston so that engine is currently in the garage waiting to get stripped down we have a bike rack on the back which takes our trusty steeds uh, yeah so just a show round really i mean we've kept it simple uh, in terms of furniture and that um, a lot of companies I think these days sell you a lot of hard furniture that you might or might not need I mean for instance we barely use our sink to be fair and if I was going to redo it I probably may or may not put a sink in uh, we've got a food box here so underneath this cushion just take that one out got a food box there that we keep uh, that we keep various bits and pieces in uh, you know sort of stock items of food and then obviously your standard under seat, under seat storage where I keep the gas bottle bedding floor mat that goes on the floor uh, towels that sort of stuff sort of stock items of clothing and then we do the classic which I think is what everybody does when we camp so we've got two storage bags that we put all our clothes in they end up getting stashed on the front seats uh, and then when we're traveling, they get moved back to the boot. Uh, and that's kind of how we run it. It's a Devon pop top. Pop, I'm not going to pop the top, but it's a standard Devon pop top. 
nothing unusual there. Canvas needs replacing, which I'm intending to get done next year. Got a couple of 12 volt sockets. I've got one there and one under the sink there, just to take 12 volts. Um, I haven't got 240 volts. If we ever go anywhere that where we need a 240 volt hookup, I've got like one of those standalone caravan RCD blocks. I just chuck that in. I didn't, th I didn't feel the need to put in permanent 240 volt ring main into this. Uh, so there she blows. She runs beautifully at the moment, uh, which is great. Uh, we've been on loads of happy adventures on her over the last 10 years. If you're thinking of getting one, I'd say do it, but uh, be, you know, get yourself a Haynes manual at the same time, because you are going to spend a lot of time fiddling around with it and getting to know it, so that you don't spend a lot of time fiddling around with it on the edge of the motorway. Other things we've done, I've done loads of soundproofing up the cab end of things. I put in these sort of like homemade carpet cards that sort of fully enclose it, try and keep the sound under control. Um, yeah, and, and there, there she blows. We love her and uh, just thought you might like to see her. Thanks very much.